that point decide his future. But the feeling of sources close to Antonio Conte and close to Tottenham is very clear. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch on Tottenham. It's important to mention the Tottenham situation with Antonio Conte. Why? Because the coach was literally furious after the Southampton game. And so let's jump into it together. Guys, I wanted to mention what's really going on between Antonio Conte and Tottenham. He's absolutely furious. He was furious after the game. The statements were very clear against the players. He said, we can't hide it anymore. Here, the players are also the problem. He said, the coach has responsibility, the club, but the players stop with excuses. Here, the players have no fire, no desire into their eyes. So something needed is different. Uh, something completely different he wants to see from his players to change Tottenham history. This is what Antonio Conte mentioned. And Antonio was already furious or a few weeks ago. He was already furious a few weeks ago. And this is one of the reasons why Antonio Conte in November, in December, when in the press we always had rumors of negotiations between Conte and Tottenham to extend the contract, Antonio never had any concrete or advanced negotiation with Tottenham on new contract. And it was never advanced or concrete because Antonio wants to wait the end of the season and then at that point decide his future. But the feeling of sources close to Antonio Conte and close to Tottenham is very clear. Antonio Conte will leave Tottenham at the end of the season. This is because of personal reasons. We know it was a difficult year for Antonio uh, because of Gianluca Vialli, Gian Piero Ventrone, many big friends of Antonio uh, lost uh, in uh, the last few months. And also because the technical situation with Tottenham is absolutely not what he wanted, especially on the player side. Antonio was absolutely furious already weeks ago. He was not happy with the behavior on the pitch against Milan in the Champions League game. Uh, he was expecting something different on both legs in San Siro and at Tottenham Stadium. He wanted something completely different. When he mentions the fire, the desire, Antonio wants to see the obsession to win. And he feels that into this dressing room of Tottenham, this is not the case. Antonio is furious with the player. Antonio was not happy with many decisions. So this is why the contract tolls were never advanced before and after the World Cup. Antonio wanted to decide at the end of the season, but the feeling is for him to return to Italy. The feeling is for Tottenham to change the coach. Let's see what Daniel Levy will decide after the press conference of Antonio Conte. Maybe if he wants to anticipate the season, if he wants to change the coach before the end of the season. But in any case, at the end of the season, Antonio Conte's plan is to change. Antonio Conte's plan is to leave. We have to see when he will communicate the decision to the club, so it will happen probably at the end of the current season or if the club will decide something different before. But it's just a matter of timing at the moment because the expectation is for Tottenham to change. We had many, many rumors about uh, other coaches for Tottenham, including Mauricio Pochettino and many others. What we can say now is that nothing is still uh, advanced. We have to wait and see what Daniel Levy will decide. We had many rumors, many names and also uh, many managers denying any negotiation with Tottenham. But at this stage, it's important to see that the there is still nothing advanced, but is Antonio Conte, who is literally furious. Antonio in the dressing room already weeks ago with some players was very clear. He was not happy with the behavior, with the mentality, with the attitude. Antonio feels there is a big lack of attitude into the dressing room. And this is why he was already very clear with the players. Then he's gone public because the feeling after the Southampton game is that he didn't want to continue like that. So what really happened behind the scenes is that Antonio already in February, January in some moments was furious with the attitude of the squad and this is why the new contract talks were not that advanced. So we have to see what happens also with uh, Mauricio Pochettino, if Tottenham will really propose him the opportunity to return, what Pochettino wants to do, this is an important point, but Antonio Conte is not happy at all and this time he was very clear with Tottenham fans. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Antonio Conte and his uh, press conference after the Southampton game. I wait for your comments. Here as always, like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel and see you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao!